Hello folks, welcome to the fourth episode of PeopleSoft REST integration tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to install digital certificates on PeopleSoft web server. Before I do that, I want to share my take on why we install digital certificates. Alright, I will begin with an example. For example, when you type www.youtube.com on your web browser and click enter, what happens behind the scenes is your web browser will send a request to the YouTube web server saying are you really YouTube then YouTube will respond back saying that yes I am really YouTube and this is the digital certificate issued by trusted certificate authority then that certificate will be received by web browser and it validates it is it really given by a trusted certificate authority once browser authenticates the certificate you can see the lock symbol everything happens in a microsecond as soon as you click enter you see the lock symbol that's when browser is saying yes we are, i'm ready to communicate with youtube web server all the communication that happens between your web browser and the youtube web server everything is encrypted so that no one can steal any secure information if you enter any secure information that's good but what happens when people soft tries to communicate with youtube through an api Almost similar thing happens, PeopleSoft will send a request to YouTube API saying that send me your digital certificate and once the YouTube API sends the digital certificate, PeopleSoft should be in a position to validate the certificate. But last time we have not installed any digital certificate of YouTube API. That is the reason the ping failed. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to install digital certificates so that PeopleSoft can communicate with YouTube API. By the way, my name is Siva Koya and I am a PeopleSoft developer. Now let's begin downloading digital certificates for our YouTube Data API. We already discussed in the previous episode, this is the endpoint for YouTube Data API. Just copy this URL, open a new tab and paste the URL and fire it. Don't worry about the error messages, it is complaining because we did not provide the required parameters for the API URL. So click on the lock symbol and then on certificate this is where we download digital certificates navigate to certificate path so this is the root intermediate certificate and this is the detail certificate we are going to download all the three in order to download the root certificate select the root link click on view certificate navigate to details tab and select copy to file click next select base 64 encoded next and choose a folder name where you want to save all the certificates I would save them in the desktop so let me name it yt demo root click next and finish we have downloaded the root certificate now let's download the intermediate certificate click ok now select the intermediate certificate click on view certificate Again go to details tab, click on copy to file, click next, base64 encoded, click next. Again I will choose desktop, I will name it yt demo enter, save, click next, finish. We have successfully downloaded the intermediate certificate, click ok. Now let's download the details certificate, click ok. Now go to the details tab and now click on the copy to file. Click next, select base64 encoded, click next, again I will select desktop, yt demo detail, click next, finish, click ok. That's it, we are done downloading the digital certificates for our YouTube data API. Now let's move on to the most important step, installing digital certificate on my PeopleSoft web server. I'm going to install the downloaded digital certificate on my PeopleSoft single user environments web server. Okay, I will make sure my virtual box is up and running. Now I will log in and access web server files of my single user environment. I'm clicking login. I have navigated to this path PS Home Web Server PeopleSoft PAA bin. Now I will move all the downloaded certificate in into this specific location. 
I have copied all the files into this location. Now I will access this path using command prompt. This is my command prompt for my VirtualBox environment. Now make sure you log in as psadm2 to perform this activity. Now let me navigate to the path where we have copied all the certificates. As you can see, I am navigating to that path. To install digital certificate, we need to invoke the delivered shell script pskeymanager.sh as you can see here. I am going to run this shell script. As you can see here, I type the command pskeymanager.sh-import. It will ask the password. Default is password. First time it will ask to change the password. I already changed the password. So let me type my password here. It is asking me alias for my certificate. You can give any name. I will name it YouTube root. It is asking me the name of the certificate. So it's yt demo root dot sir. First we are going to install the root certificate. Click enter. It is asking me can I trust this certificate? I would say yes. Done. We have installed the root certificate. Now let me go ahead and install intermediate certificate. I will follow the same steps. PS key manager dot sh import provide my password. I would name it YouTube enter and will provide the exact certificate name which we saved done lastly let me go ahead and add the detail certificate again i'll follow the same steps As you can see here, it has successfully added the detail certificate. If you have changed the password for your key manager for the first time, you need to update that in the gateway properties file. So in order to do that, navigate to people tools, integration broker, configuration, gateways. Select your local gateway. Click on gateway setup properties hyperlink. Login with your user ID and password. Default is administrator and the password is password. Now click on the advanced properties page. Search for secure file key store password. So this is the password. So here if you see we need to update here the encrypted password. Remember a couple of minutes back if you logged in first time into your key manager you would have changed the password. So if you remember that password, type the same password, confirm password and it will generate encrypted password. Copy this encrypted password and update in this specific location. This is very important. Otherwise, if you ping the external node, it will give HTTP error. Now I will go ahead and restart the web server. My web server is up and running now. Now is the time to ping the external node which failed in the episode 3. Now I will navigate to the external node and ping it. Logging into PeopleSoft app. Opening the external node we created in the previous episode. Navigate to the connectors tab. Ping your external node. Bingo! Now you should receive a success message. Did you see? All the hard work paid off. That's about it for today guys. Folks, you can follow the same steps I outlined in this tutorial and do any kind of PeopleSoft REST based integration. I truly hope you learned something new today. 
and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends i would be very happy because it will help them too next week i will be back with one more interesting episode where i will show you why and how to create integration definitions inside people soft application see you soon